is going away. That actually leads to something interesting. It leads to something interesting. And that's one of the last pieces I'll talk about right now. And that is, let's talk about the labor shortage. So here's something we did. Now it's an it's a anecdotal evidence, but here's something we did. We looked for a role for a position in our company, right? We have a company with about 50 employees. So we put out the job description out there and we got like five applicants. We looked at them, we hired one of them, great. That person wasn't the right match in our company. And after a few months, we mutually separated from each other. Then, right when they mutually separated from each other, the government dropped the extra $300 per week and several states dropped their additional things. And all of a sudden, we put that same ad back out. And we got, in a matter of two days, 156 applications for that job. What had changed? The job was the same. The pay was the same. Everything was the same. One time, the government paid everyone uh, to stay at home. One time, the government no longer paid everyone to stay. And something else changed, too, to be fair. COVID was no longer as scary as it was before. People got vaccinated. People went, were able to go back, to, back to, their, to work and so on. However, for our role, that should have not played a role because we are a 100% virtual company. Everyone in our company, except for our personal assistant, our executive assistant, works from home. So COVID does not even play a role. If they, so COVID does not play a role in that at all, because anyone we could have, uh, anyone could have applied that wanted to work could have applied for the job in the, while COVID was rampant and while COVID was not rampant. We had the job available during two different times and nobody had to expose themselves to COVID to apply for it. All interviews happened to Zoom, all job, uh, we hired them uh, by email, by sending them the job description by email. We send them a laptop over, they work from home and that's how all our team members work. Nobody has to get exposed to be part of, to uh, exposed to COVID to be part of our organization. Right. So that's uh, so. So therefore, if that eliminated, there's only one factor left, which is the fact that the government supported people and and, uh, state of, uh, and, and sent them stimulus checks and all those things. And uh, they actually didn't need to get a job. Now, and also very interesting anecdotal evidence, but still on our more higher paying job where people were, were getting a $300 un unemployment check from the government would not make, make a significant difference in their income. We always were able to hire just fine because in those jobs there just, it wasn't an option to just retire, to just, uh, to just be unemployed for a while. So just wanted to point that out, but now this is over. So now what's happening? The government uh, is no longer supporting people with, at that level. So now people are looking for jobs again. And at the same time, uh, the economy is booming again, people looking to hire. But now again, there's one extra factor that comes in. And that is the factor of that that been described, but the big move towards virtual working, as well as the big reset, big, big resignation. Right, the big resignation. So if you look at, if you Google it, I just, uh, I just, for example, uh, randomly, uh, randomly Googled just before doing this, this session, uh, a couple of things here. And for example, if you look at here, it says here, uh, NPR says, as the pandemic recedes, millions of workers are saying, I quit. And then also in Forbes magazine, it says how remote working is reshaping the new world of uh, the new world uh, world of work. And the reality is what's happening is that while at the beginning, many people didn't want to work in their uh, at home, they were like used to going to the office and, and, and chit chatting over the water cooler and talking bling and going for lunches and stuff like that. This pandemic wasn't a one week pandemic. This pandemic wasn't a one month or even three months pandemic. This pandemic has been going on for a freaking year and a half. And it takes in life, it takes 28 days for somebody to create a new habit. Now, what happens if they now are stuck in their home for six, eight, 12 months? If perhaps bought another home where they have a home office, right? Where it's like, where it's in the basement or somewhere else or upstairs or with a nice lit extra uh, room where they, where they can make themselves comfortable, where they work out the dynamics. The kids are back in school. Mom and dad are both work from home from different ends of the home, just like Michelle and I do. She's upstairs working, uh, doing a podcast interview right now. I'm doing one right now, doing my podcast session here right now. 
So, so we, we, we gather together, we have lunches together, we see each other. It's actually a wonderful, enjoyable way to work. We can go on walks if we want in the morning, on walks in the afternoon, as temperatures come down in Phoenix, Arizona, we'll be going on probably two to three walks a day and still don't miss a beat in our businesses. So people started realizing that. They started moving away from the big clam metropolitan areas into more suburban area, into more smaller areas. And now their company says, hey, COVID is over. You're all vaccinated. Let's come back to the office. And people are saying, pick a finger. Right? They're saying, no, I'm not doing this anymore. So all of this has led to the real estate boom spreading. The real estate boom, now then the people are no longer buying necessarily that condo close to downtown, so you've been close to work. They're now buying the house in the suburbs. They're now buying land outside, which affects our land flipping business, right? Remember, that's what we teach you. That's what we do. We flipped well over five or 4,000 lots, Michelle and I, right? So now it has expanded. It has all contributed. Low interest rates, pay down debt, having more money in the bank being able to remotely uh, work remotely, being able to uh, not being able to travel as much, right? Being interest rates being super low, um, still having jobs, qualifying better for loans. Now, uh, and, and being able to work virtual, I mean, I mentioned it multiple times already, all of that has really created the perfect, wonderful storm that now allows people to move out to live a more uh, a more spacious life, and it has been a like literally dynamite or a rocket ship. Somebody has turned on like burnt the fuse in the rocket ship of land investing. So for our land investing, it has been absolutely fantastic. Now, what's the future look like? Well, I'm there to say I'm, I'm, I believe what's happening is that first of all, when that when people come when, when the jobs call them back into the office. People said, no, I don't want to leave. And that has started right now what's called the big resignation. People are leaving the companies. Now, add to that Biden saying that, hey, every company over 100 people needs to, or 100 or more people needs to vaccinate, needs to have their people vaccinated mandatorily, right? And the government employees need to be vaccinated and so on. Guess what? 70, 80% of the population are fine with that. 20 or 30 percent, for whatever reasons, are not, right? For the, everyone has their own reasons. I'm not here to judge anyone, right? But they have their reasons to say no. They're posing against a government mandate that is constitutionally, let's say, uh, objectionable. But I'm not a constitutional scholar, so I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. But the point is, we don't force anyone to be vaccinated because you work from home. Most virtual companies don't, vac don't force anyone to get vaccinated because you get to work from home. So now you have the, the vaccination question. You have the COVID overall, I want more space question. You have the question of, hey, I want to work remote because I've learned it over, the, over a year and a half of how cool it is. And you got a huge number of people in the United States that just don't want to go back to the offices anymore. If you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also for additional training, just go over to the website listed in the description below.